welcome to Creative Support's Got Talent at Band on the Wall. Let's go backstage and see if we can catch up with a couple of the contestants and see how they feel before they give the performance of their life. So how does it make you feel, Brian, when you're singing? Does it make you feel happier? Oh, definitely, yes. Oh, yes. Just, if, if I'm in a depressed mood, I can just sit down and write a song. Sometimes I can write one just straight off. And what are you going to be doing for us this evening? Wonder of your wellness. Is he your favourite star He's of all time? My superhero, yeah. It's World Mental Health Day, it's an international event, and we thought it's a real fun way to tackle stigma that's associated with mental illness, is to kind of demonstrate and celebrate the talents that some of the people that we support have. So we've hosted a, a national competition, and today we're down to the final nine finalists. So I think everyone deserves a round of applause for that. What is it you're looking for in a contestant this evening? Well, we're really looking for some uh, really talented people. I'm sure that we'll find some because we've got so many amazing service users and there's so many of them here today. So good luck, guys. with Chris he's literally just got off stage how do you think it went uh, I think it went pretty well yeah I liked um, looking at all the people in the audience and stuff and getting the feedback and everything yeah so it's really great so which of the judges did you think was the best for giving feedback um, I'd say the guy out was shameless really because he, he seems to know what he's talking about I think What did you think of me dancing? Do you know what? It was the most amazing thing I've ever seen. It must make you dizzy, isn't it? <laughs> it was very. I'm a robot. It's, I've been practicing that since it first came out in the 1990s. So do you think you did all that you could do to win? Yeah, I did. Do you think you've done enough, or would you have done anything differently if you had a chance to do it again? I think it would do it differently, but because um, we was a bit nervous actually, it would be the first song, you know. And I have to say, that was an amazing performance. Well done. Well, somebody said to me that if anybody sees the accord, you'll have a big smile on the face. You give me hope and consolation. You give me strength to carry on. to know what you think about Roy, one of the judges' comments, who said Elvis had not only left the building, he'd come in, in you. 
Yeah, maybe, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So what does it mean to you to win? Well, I'm, I'm, I, just, I just wanted to take part. I'm not about winning. You know, they've, they've discovered a cure for insomnia. They play the Man City Clooney videos. <laughs> <laughs> Does it take to change a light bulb? Wrong. 301. One to hold the bulb. The other three to work out the flicky film. <laughs> so, Dr Q, you've just come off stage, and I have to say, that was really, really good. How do you think it went? I think it went very good. I'm just... Uh, I just do my bit and hope if I win, I win, but it's a taking part. I want to try and use this to launch my career because I want to take Dr Q on the road. a real rock star, and I have to admit, you were really good out there. Um, what did you think of your performance? It was all right, really. Tom, that was some awesome break dancing and some great moves. Seriously, how do you think it went? Oh, I was nervous at first, but once I got up there, well, everything came into place for me. I really enjoyed myself. I thought you were amazing. Well, I was so shocked with how the reaction of the judges and that, you know, I just really didn't know what to, I really did not expect. I didn't think I had a chance. So, Aaron, how did you find this evening? Absolutely brilliant. To be totally honest, I, I was, um, I didn't know what to expect when I was asked to do it. So, uh, my wife's got a friend that works here. Um, and uh, just the work, the work that they do here, I knew, I knew nothing about it, to be totally honest. People kept asking me how I'd done stuff here before and, and, and what was my involvement with it, and it's been nothing until today. And I've been touched by like the work you do here and the work that everyone does and, and, and how they help people with you know with with mental illness. I'm very, very honoured to be asked to stand up here and announce the winner. We've got yeah. four fantastic acts. I'm sorry I didn't see the other acts, but I gather they were all very, very talented. I'd just like to ask you one thing. Have you enjoyed it today? Yeah. And if we have another event live this next year, will you come back? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I just wanted to uh, get the uh, excitement going. Um, I'm now going to announce the winner. I can't imagine who it is. I don't know how we can choose between four such talented, Thomas, you are Creative Support, Scott Talent winner, 2011. How are you feeling? I've always been the champion. I've always known it all my life. It's just that I need to get to the right point in my life to face it and realise that I was. 
Now, I knew I was the champion of my life. I was, I was captain of rugby football and basketball at school. I was, yeah, I, I had the biggest chest in school, but I had a soul complex because of my illness. And now I've not got the complex, and now I am a champion. So creative support has allowed you to kind of find yourself? Find myself, save my life, and put me back on my feet. And give me, a new set, give me a new state of mind. And we're all winners tonight. We've all had an excellent night. And thank you all for helping me.